Hi, my name is Helen Yi, and I am applying for the Hack Reactor Scholarship. The topic that I'll be presenting on today is photography. The three basic elements are aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. When you point your camera at a subject and press the shutter button, the subject gets through the camera in the form of light, which travels through the aperture, the opening that you see here. Aperture controls the amount of light that passes through and is, is expressed as f-stops. When you have a lower f-stop number, you have a wider aperture and more light coming through the lens. At a higher f-stop, you have a smaller aperture and less light coming in. So the aperture has a big effect on how much the subject is in focus and how visible the background gets. So once light passes through the aperture lens, it hits the shutter curtain. The shutter speed determines how long the shutter is open for. A slower shutter speed would mean more light is hitting the sensor and it's great for shooting at low light settings or doing night photography. When you have a faster shutter speed, it's great for freezing motion or moving objects. So shutter speed and aperture work together to control the amount of light that reaches the sensor. And finally, the ISO setting is a sensitivity of the image sensor to light and it determines how well exposed this photo will be by the changing sensitivity. Typically in broad daylight, you would use a much lower ISO setting, probably even at 100, which is the lowest ISO setting. During night photography to compensate for the darker setting, we use a higher ISO setting. So these are the three pillars of photography, aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. If you can control these three elements well, you can shoot a properly exposed image. Thank you for watching.